Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Alkanauts. And today, I left your house this morning about a quarter after nine. Could have been the Willie Nelson, could have been the beer. Ray, why don't you tell us about the tale of the tape today? Alrighty, so today we've got Bobber Micro IPA from Bob Cajun Brewing in Peterborough, Ontario. This one is a, like I said, micro IPA. So it falls in at 2.5% ABV. 2.5, I said. What? <laughs> yes, 2.5% ABV. So you're going to say, well, I've never heard of a micro IPA before. Never. Well, a micro IPA is a little different than a session IPA. Session IPAs go from 3% to 4.9% ABV. This one is anything under 3%. Let's crack these babies open and find out what's inside the can. Alrighty, because this time I'm thirsty. Oh, that's really hoppy. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It's really foamy. It's got a nice golden color to it. It almost looks like a light lager, but it's got such a hoppy smell to it. It's nice. It's, uh, it's mosaic and citra hops in this one. Anyways, cheers, oh, Paul. Cheers. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers, you guys. This is like IPA light. I am tasting the hoppiness in it. I'm tasting the citrus in it. It is really robust in taste. It's delicious. Did you just call an IPA delicious? I did. What have I done to this guy? <laughs> it's not you, it's, it's Bob Cajun. A while back did a short on um, hopped water. And honestly, that's exactly what I expected this to taste like, is, mm. is hopped water. It's such a low ABV. I didn't expect to have the complexity of an actual IPA in it. This is complex. There's a little bit of maltiness there. There's a little bit of, like, there's a ton of citrus. I definitely get the hops out of this. Not so much the maltiness out of it. And I would assume there'd be a lot less malt if the ABV is so low. The more malt you have, the more sugars you're going to get out of it, the more the yeast is going to increase the ABV. It's complex. It's really nice. It's a crushable IPA. And I love how you said it. it's got that complexness to it. Complexion? Complexity. To it. Complexity? Yes, there is a complexity to this. Complexness to it. <laughs> I love that. It's got some bold flavor. It's easy to drink. And at 2.5%, you can have quite a few of these and, and still enjoy your entire night. If I drink too many IPAs, too much, too, too, too many of anything really hoppy, it gives me a headache the next day. Oh. I wonder if I'd be there with this. Because the ABV is so low, you're not getting all the sugars. I don't know. Hoppiness has a has a tendency to make me kind of a tender in my imbibation volume. Imbibation? Is that a real word? Yeah. Look it up. Alrighty, so no shenanigans this week. We are just gonna tip these bottoms up. We are going to get our final opinion after we chug these back. Let's Three, two, one, and go. What I can say about this Bob Cajun bobber is it's supple. It just floats evenly on a nice, cool summer's day on the river or in the lakes of the Kalawarthas and just does its own thing. This thing is light, it's easy going, it's got some flavor to it. I'm a fan. On that note, I would take this over a Coors Light any day. Any day. This is right up my alley. Good job. Wow, fantastic job. And honestly, I didn't think it would be possible that I would enjoy something that's only what, <laughs> 2.5%? 2 2.5%. We are both super impressed by this beer. We're going to check out now. But before we do, make sure you go over and check out at thealkanauts.com. We got all sorts of fun stuff over there, some beer education. You can buy our t-shirts, the Shirt of the Month Club. Again, great job, Bob Cajun Brewing on this one. And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts. Cheers all. Take care.